Do you have a child or teenager with Asperger's or high-functioning autism? And does it seem like there are times when he or she can be calm, cool, and collected one minute and appear like a raving lunatic the next? Hello, everybody. This is Mark Hutton. And today I want to talk to those parents who have Asperger's children who may have some anger control issues. While all children can have anger management issues from time to time, Asperger's children have a special challenge in this area because they have difficulty understanding emotions and their impact on others. In addition, teens with Asperger's aren't living in a void in which they don't understand that they are different from other kids. Often teased by their peers, they can have incipient anger they don't understand and can't easily control. Helping these children and teenagers with anger control issues requires a direct communication about the effect of their anger on others, as well as the methods of improving their low self-esteem and poor sense of self-worth, which is often at the root of the child's anger. Anger that is acted out badly needs to be treated like any other unwanted behavior. Some form of reasonable consequence directed at getting the point across that the behavior is wrong needs to be combined with a pragmatic discussion of the meaning behind the anger and other ways to control the anger. Also keep in mind that an effective consequence for an Asperger's child will be much different than an effective consequence for a typical child. If the anger seems to be a part of your child's frustration over how he's being treated by others or from depressive feelings, Finding better avenues to discuss what is really going on can help him deal with the issues without using anger as an outlet. Most Asperger's children are of greater than average intelligence and have the resources to understand the relationship between their anger and the underlying social issues they're dealing with. In situations where the anger seems to be an ongoing and overwhelming issue, families should not hesitate to speak with a family therapist or other psychologist for help.